Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. So in the previous video, we have seen what is AWS Lambda function, what is serverless computing, what are the benefits of serverless computing, what is the difference between server computing and serverless computing, and as a developer, why should we use AWS Lambda function? So in this video, we will see how to create a simple AWS Lambda function. So let's begin. So our first step will be log into your AWS management console. So after logging in, you can see the search bar. You can go there and search Lambda. You will see this in services. Click on Lambda. Yeah. So as of now, I haven't created any function. So there is no data to display. So to create a Lambda function, first we'll click on create function. Then we will be having three different options, author from scratch, user blueprint and container image. I will be discussing the other two options in the next video. So here we will, for creating a simple Lambda function, we will select author from scratch. It will help us to start and create a function with a simple hello world example. So first we will fill the basic information. So in the function name, we will put demo Lambda. Okay. And we can use different runtime or we can use different languages in whichever you are comfortable with. So AWS Lambda supports .NET, Golang, Java, Node.js, Python, Ruby. So if you are comfortable with any of them, you can go ahead with any of them. So I will select Python 3.8. You can select anything, whichever language or whichever runtime you are comfortable with. Okay, next. So we'll go to permission. So here, permission is very important. So per, what will permission do? So uh, it will help us choose the role that defines the permission of your function. So for that, we'll uh, select on use an existing role. So for that, we have to now create a uh, first role and define policies for that. So we'll go into services and we'll click on search IAM. Then we'll click on IAM. So this is the IAM dashboard as you can see on my screen. So in the left side, under the dashboard and access management, you can see roles. Click on that. So this is my rules page. For creating a role, create. Uh, click on create role. So well, first we will select trusted entity type. So as for now, we will select Amazon Web Service Service, AWS Service, and non-use case will select Lambda, okay? And then we'll click on next. So now in, for giving permission policies, we will search for AWS Lambda execute. So as you can see, then select that AWS Lambda, Lambda execute. Okay, so then click next. So now we will uh, enter the role details, role name and everything. So for now, let's give a role name. I'm using Lambda, simple role, then next. So as you can see, step two, we have to add permission. That is not much, we have already added. We have selected AWS Lambda execute and then in the step three, we will have to add tags. So I'll add a tag name and I'll add value to it. Lambda sample app. Okay. Then we'll create a rule. As you can see, a green pop-up has appeared. So our role Lambda simple has been created. As you can see, a Lambda simple role has been created. Okay, then again, we will go to our Lambda. We'll search Lambda. We'll click on create function. Then we'll enter my function name, which I have already 
write it again. Demo lambda. We'll select our language. You can select any language you want. Okay, let's select Python 3.12. Then for giving permission, we'll click on use an existing role and we will select the role which I have already created. As you can see, a role is showing which I have just created, lambda simple role. We'll click on that, then we'll create function. So guys, as you can see, the green pop-up has appeared. It shows that successfully created the function demo lambda. You can now change its code and configuration to invoke your function with a test event choose test. So as you can see, our demo lambda function has been created. You can add triggers to it. You can add destination. This is a sample code. You can make changes to it. And they can, for additional properties, you can go to this. You can add layers, runtime settings and all. This is a, so in this video, we have seen how to create a simple AWS Lambda function. So thank you so much, everyone. If you have any doubt or any, you need any help, you can mention in the comments. So see you all in the next video.